here is what's called a slipper lobster. It's basically just like a little sweet lobster tail. Here's the emperor triggerfish, the craziest spearfishing catch of my life. And then here's a classic spiny lobster. We wait till about 30, 40 minutes after sunset, grab our tiny little Hawaiian slings and head out with our dive lights and a cooler on a stand up paddle board across the lagoon, get out past the reef, which is really tricky with fins on when there's waves, but the lobsters like to hide in the surf. So we are always swimming through the little waves into like the fingers of the reef, looking for fish. I'm looking in a hole super deep through one whole cave, then into another one. Just, I can barely see in the top section of this cave an emperor triggerfish and I come back up think about it if I think I can get him then I go back down and I take my shot can't pull him out of the hole I have to leave my spear go back to the surface take take a breath go down again continue this for like 15 minutes I'm starting to get super lightheaded feel like I'm gonna pass out and then finally, right when I'm like about to give up on this fish and my spear, I somehow pull him through this tiny little hole in the reef, get him out, just bear hug him across the reef, massive emperor trigger fish, get him in the cooler, call it a night. We had already gotten a lobster at that point and a little slipper lobster as well. So that was the end of the night. Um, it was a Saturday and then on Sunday we had a really nice barbecue um, with a family that had taken me in so that felt really nice to give them that lobster and that trigger fish as well with as the slipper what a day